I'm 13 News Now meteorologist Rochelle Peart with the 11 a.m. update from the National Hurricane Center on Friday, July 12th on Tropical Storm Barry. At this point, about 100 miles south of the mouth of the Mississippi River, sustained winds at 65 miles per hour. So it has actually strengthened within the past 24 hours as it really hones in on the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. And as those wind speeds go up, the pressure goes down now to 998 millibars and only moving at about five miles per hour. That's been pretty steady over the past 24 hours. Tropical alerts currently in place. Hurricane warnings for parts of the southern Louisiana coastline does look like landfall in Louisiana is looking more and more imminent as we move through the next 24, or actually less than 24 hours. So here's Barry once again. You're seeing those tropical updates. There gusts up to 75 miles per hour right now. And we are watching for potential landfall of a weak category one hurricane. This would be the first hurricane of the Atlantic season. We've had a couple back in the Pacific at this point, but we are watching the Atlantic, the Gulf of Mexico right now for what could potentially be a weak category one storm at 75 miles per hour on Saturday morning. It's going to move inland as a hurricane for a little bit longer, losing strength as it loses that power source of the Gulf of Mexico, still with some strong winds. But something else that we're going to be watching besides the wind is going to be the storm surge that comes along with the rotation, that counterclockwise rotation around the low pressure system that is the tropical storm, potentially soon to be hurricane. So we do have storm surge warnings along the southern Louisiana coast and also storm surge watches in that lighter purple color because of the water that this system could potentially push into parts of the inland areas. And on top of that, we're also talking about some extremely potentially devastating rainfall totals, upwards of 10, maybe over 20 inches. At this point, the models are bringing over 20 inches to Baton Rouge and areas around there. So anything really over a couple inches, especially with the Mississippi River having been running high over the past few days, is going to cause some serious impacts. And that's just the flooding rain, not the storm surge, and not the winds that we could potentially see out of Barrie. So what's the bottom line? Barrie is going to make landfall as either a weak Category 1 storm or a strong tropical storm. But we're going to be watching the effects of heavy rains and flooding as those are going to be major concerns for the Gulf Coast states and the lower Mississippi River Basin.